Eric Monet, Advertising Associate at the Lopez Dude Marketing Corporation. First off, I want to apologize to you for not being able to make it to Buffalo, as I'm stuck here in Boston due to a delayed flight as a result of snowfall at home. I know my feedback is critical as we move forward with our ad campaigns for Old Spice and Dr. Pepper. My expertise is in the field of social myths, and I want to speak about how these commercials pertain to the man's man and woman's woman perspectives. In both ads, we deal with our culture's ideas of what a man and what a woman should be, ideas that have stereotyped both genders for generations. First, I will dissect the Old Spice advertisement. It is clear that our message is geared towards men as the deodorant is made for men. So as I watched the commercial, I wanted to view how we planned on persuading our target demographic, if it was ethical, and if we need to make any changes to accommodate to our audience. I believe our Old Spice commercial is spot on. I feel the character of the actor we used was a solid mix of the time-tested views of a man's man and a more modern man, more nurturing. He's not afraid to brag about his masculinity or his carpentry skill, but he also describes baking a cake. The scenes inside the kitchen and in the wilderness are good contrast points. This will surely persuade men and their women to want to purchase our product. I don't think any changes need to be made, and saying this product won't change the way you look, but change the way you smell saves us from any ethical critics looking for false advertising. This gets my approval, and I can see the success it can generate for us. As, the doctor, as for the Dr. Pepper commercial, I don't agree with our tactics and use. From the beginning, we are making appeals to false authority. We are telling women to change a channel and saying they cannot drink our Dr. Pepper 10 product. This is cutting out an entire demographic. Also, it is impossible to think all men are going to buy our product, so we are already isolating our sales to a smaller percentage. We should not tell the audience who can or cannot buy the pop. I don't see the appeal of this product to just focus on the man's man stereotype. I believe this commercial can work if we exclude those statements about women, as they also bring in the woman's woman stereotypes in a negative way. Telling them to have their girly drinks and romantic comedies is just a slap in the face to all hard-working women who also enjoy action movies, sports, and drink our products such as Dr. Pepper 10. We still have the ability to persuade our male audience without burning any bridges with the female audience. For example, we still say Dr. T Pepper 10 is a masculine drink with 10 manly calories while depicting an action movie scene. We don't need to mention women whatsoever, and we keep our sales in men and don't offend anyone in the process. I feel if we can do this, it will be ethically correct and it will get my approval. I once again want to apologize for not being in attendance for the meeting, but thank you for watching my feedback, and I hope you continue to use the Lopez Dude Marketing Corporation in the future.